secret? Why can't I just tell you this thing? Why? Maybe because I know that if I tell you this thing, um, that you'll probably hate me or you won't believe me. There's been a lot of times that people haven't believed me. I don't know why, you know, it's not like, you know, okay, whatever, don't believe me, fine, don't believe me, don't believe me. Um, maybe I'm afraid of how we react if you find out about it, you know? Uh, like, maybe you'll hate me or you'll, like, chase my children down with baseball bats. That really did happen to me once when I was a child. Or, um, you'll decide to, I don't know, uh, arrest me for war crimes, being as uh, certain other of our politicians who really are guilty of war crimes or have, you know, have not been arrested for them. Then I have a secret, and it is an MK Ultra secret, and uh, it's actually of my first mission, and I can't tell you this first mission. I can't. I can't. I'm a coward. I'm a big, stinking, yellow coward. I'm so yellow. I'm so yellow. Why do I want to tell you my secret? Well, <laughs> it, I don't know. It would be nice to get some feedback on it. You know, which is why I tell my stories. Uh, it's, it would be really great to get feedback. Um, but most importantly, and the, and the biggest reason why storytellers like me exist is because, one, our stories are made to pass information. Much like that, that text message that just came through. Oh, where's my turn? My fingernails are dirty. One of the biggest reasons for storytellers like me is because our stories have a function. Um, one thing you'll note is that older people, when they start reaching uh, the later years, they'll start telling a lot of stories of their youth and their experiences. And what they're doing is they're imparting information. This is a human instinct. Well, once in a while, there is a personality type born, especially among, well, probably, I think it's with all people because we have storytellers around the globe, but they, people go, oh, especially among Native Americans. No, it's just that we've managed to cling to that tradition. We tell our stories as a way to impart information, as to teach. Sometimes they're parables. And we don't always mean it, it that way. It's just, that's what happens. Um... And uh, we're not going, oh, we know more than you, like my, my daughter accused me of. It's just how we're wired. I've lost my train of thought because of a tweet! Ah! And uh, a very, a, another very important function for, with the storytelling in regards to the movement where we're trying to remember stuff on about alternate lives and, and everything is that being able to relate to these stories helps you remember. It's not a new technique. It's very old. Grew up doing it, so it can't be new because last I checked, I wasn't no spring chicken. I mean, I ain't exactly a thousand. Well, I might be a thousand years old if you go that way, but if that's the case, the last time I counted, I was like, oh my gosh, when was the Jurassic period? <laughs> Do you know why my fingernails are dirty? Let me tell you why my fingernails are dirty. Because I have been making this. This is my current project. I was making myself a Darkwing Duck related term because I'm a fan of Darkwing Duck. So there's, you know, this important thing to storytelling. So I really, really want to tell you this story. One, because it would get it off my chest. Two, I really want to tell you this story. Because my entire life I remembered this thing. And then one day I was listening to an audiobook. Uh, actually, it was Lies, Lies, and More Lies uh, by Jesse Ventura. Really good book. Loved it in an audio forum. Haven't read it, read it. Uh, but the audio book was really, really nice. And there was this one chapter dealing with this one thing that happened. And it was just a really short chapter because there's not that much data on this. But I remembered. I looked it up. And details that have always been in my head, small things that I don't dare tell you because it'll give it away. Small things that you would normally take for granted, like, oh, I don't know, a compound layout. It's not exactly a compound that I'm talking about, but it, it, it works. Compound layout, you know. Or... These were all confirmed when I looked at this event that I had never cared about and didn't really know nothing about my whole life <coughs> except that it had happened. So there's this confirmation Independent confirmation, which is really important because 
I don't like to talk about things in my head unless it's been confirmed because uh, another problem, another thing with storytelling is there are some people that are actually storytellers and not the good kind and they'll lie to you and they'll manipulate you. There were some people uh, that, you know, they were talking to me and I was like, well, and I told them, I said, I really love to hear about past lives. So they proceeded to tell me the storyline to the anime clanad as their past life. And you could tell they were, I, I could tell they were lying, but I had been tr tricked like that so many times that after a while there are just some tells you pick up on. But when I was new and people would do that, oh, I would get bamboozled. But these types of storytellers are not good people. They'll tell you stuff to get you in bed, to steal your car, to, to get you to give them money. And uh, yeah. But I, on the other hand, have this confirmed memory that I really wish I could share with you and I cannot because of the implications behind it. It was my first full-fledged mission, as far as I can tell. Being as it was a mission on the MK Ultra side, obviously it was not a nice one. I can't even hint. Number two is because of the situation, if I said, well, I remember this thing and there's this confirmed memory, uh, I worry that people will perceive me as claiming errors. And this isn't something you would claim errors about. There are feelings that, that probably still exist about the matter that do not get, need to get stirred. And personal glory and or comfort or however you want to put it is just not worth that. Uh, the fact that I remember this is not really important in the grand scheme of things. It's important to me. But I somehow doubt that anybody out there is going to be able to relate to this story because this is something that I was brought in and did pretty much alone. I don't remember anybody else except people that were there, already there, that are now mostly dead. I have a secret. What is the point of telling you this? I don't know because I have a secret I want to tell you. Oh my God, no, because there are a lot of people out there who are dealing with trying to remember that also have secrets. And that is good. That is, that is a good thing to know how to guard yourself. Uh, Sometimes though, you gotta wonder, and this is where my comment comes in, those people who go, well, I can't tell you this, and they're all big in public, a lot more than this little blog post, doesn't matter, Facebook posts, forum posts, they're always saying, I did this, but I can't talk about it, and they're always offering that they did this big thing, but they can't talk about it because it's a secret. If it's such a secret, then why are you even bringing up that you have a secret? You gotta wonder after a few posts of that if it really is a secret or are they just saying that to get attention so that the gullible minded people who don't really know how to check the nuances of storytelling, okay, are fooled and will bathe and lavish them in attention and allow them to derail conversations in some cases? You gotta wonder. I have a secret. I have a secret. Don't we all? I have, I really wish I could share my secret with you because it's not, it's not exactly a fantastical story, but it is to me because it's my quote unquote alternate life career beginning. And it's one of the things in which I actually uh, started working my way up because I can tell you that I worked my way up from bottom level up, which people make out that you can't do. Yeah, you can. And it's important to me because we are the sum of our memories and experiences. It's a secret to spare the people around me and to protect myself. So I have a secret. Sorry I can't share.